Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Zhengxu. Let's look at the problem twenty six in chapter twenty five. Chapter twenty five is about electric current and resistance. So in there, you can see, uh, it tells us for some applications, it's very important to make sure the resistance will not change. Right? It's not change with temperature. So how can we solve that? We can see we can use the combination of carbon resistors and nickel resistors. So we can say initially, this is our, the resistance for copper plus the resistance for nickel equal to three seven three thousand seven hundred ohms. This is initial, and finally we want to make sure the resistance of copper plus the resistance of nickel still equals to three thousand seven hundred ohm. Right? This is uh, we want to make sure it works, and ask you what value should it Of each resistance have to be so. What value is um R O C and R O N, and then in this one it tell you you can consider the initial temperature as zero degree Celsius. So how can we do that? We can see there when we consider the resistance will change with temperature just for copper. Or just for nickels, right? And then we put them together. They will not change with temperature. How can that be? So we write down the equation for the resistance with the temperature. This one we are very familiar with this one, and it tell us the initial temperature is zero Celsius degree, right? Zero Celsius degree. So T naught is equal to zero. So can be simplified as this one. Agree? Yes. Now we can see. We can write down the final resistance for carbon and nickel. So final R C is R O C plus one times alpha C times T, right? And、uh, the final nickel R N is R O N plus times one plus R N times alpha N times T. Agree? Just input this、uh, equation inside for R C and R N. Mm -hmm. And we look at alpha c and alpha n is a constant. We can list it there. List it there, and simplify this equation. We can say we can convert. We can just、uh, reorganize this、uh, equation, right? And get the term R O C plus R O N plus the term this term times temperature T. And then we simplify it. Look like this one. So we just、uh, write this term and this term. They are equals. As we talk about, this is a final total resistance. This is initial total resistance. They should equal, right? This is three seven, three thousand seven hundred, three thousand seven hundred, and they should equal. That means this term must equal to zero. Agree? And tell us this combination is temperature independent. So that means no matter what temperature is, this term must be zero. So of course, this term in the bracket, R O C plus alpha C plus R O C times alpha C plus R O N plus times alpha N equal to zero, right? So that so this condition can make it the no matter what temperature is, this term is zero.、Mm -hmm. Now you can see we get this term and we get this ah.、Uh, From the very beginning, the initial combination of the resistance is three thousand seven hundred ohms.、Mm -hmm. Now you can see you have two equations, two unknown quantities. Alpha c, alpha n is just as a given quantity is there constant. So now you can solve these two equations, get function for R c, for R o c, and R o n. Input all the given quantities, you get final answer there. Thank you.